Hi, today's film is all about how to make your legs look fantastic and I'm not going to be talking about long-term things like diet and exercise or epilation. These are really the quick fixes, the things that can turn your legs from kind of not looking great, maybe a bit pasty, a bit bruised, a bit patchy, whatever, into just great looking legs very, very quickly. And all of these products I use on myself and I've used on celebrities through red carpet and models for photo shoots, so I can kind of vouch for all of them. So if you are quite pale, quite fair, and you just want a little bit of color, I find the absolute best thing, this is what I use every day anyway, is this works and this is the Perfect Legs Skin Miracle. And what I like about it first is that it has lots of skincare ingredients. So it has stable vitamin C and enough of it to make a difference and vitamin E, which will work on things like pigmentation or you know the way you get bites, I, well I get insect bites and then they leave a mark for like three months. Um, things like that, it's working on lightening them on a daily basis. It also contains arnica, which is great if you have a lot of bruises on your legs. So, and while it's doing that, it will give you, it has an instant effect as well. So it gives you a little bit of color. And the thing I like most about it is it doesn't have any artificial color, so any synthetic color or any synthetic fragrance, which again is, is really nice. And the color is comes from caramel. So it's literally from burnt sugar. That's how they get the color, which means there's no orange in it at all. And if you're quite sort of fair or quite light skin like, like me, then I just think it is absolutely brilliant because it gives you, I don't like to use fake tan all over my body, but I like a little bit of color on my legs. So if I use that, it just lifts the color. It makes it look very, very natural. And um, it also has a little bit of mica, so it's got a little bit of shimmer. So instantly your legs look so, so much better. It washes off at the end of the day, so you'll find you have to put again on again the next day, but it's really, really easy to use. I put about five pumps on each leg and just massage it in and then wash your hands. Another really good wash off one is the One Day Tan by Hishi. And this is a gel which is great for men and women because it doesn't have any shimmer. It's just totally natural. It just tints your skin basically and gives you a bronzy effect. Um, it goes on best with any kind of a mitt. You just squeeze it onto the mitt and then massage it all over your legs. You can also use this one on other areas of the body as well. It's not just for legs um, and it's moisturizing as well. So it's just a really very, very natural. It's not orangey in any way, which is why I personally like it. It doesn't give you any of that oranginess, but it gives you, and it works on a lot of skin types. So it works on the very, very fair skins if you want to get a bronze effect and it can add color to sort of more of a olivey skin. So it, it's good for just giving you that nice bronzy effect, but without shimmer. And um, it's very, very natural and it dries as well. So it's not gonna come off all over everything. And at the end of the day, it just washes off. So the next product, I recommend is Pretty Potion and I use this a lot in my kit. I use it a lot for red carpet. I know lots of other makeup artists who use it for the red carpet in LA as well. And um, this comes in five shades. So it comes in plain, so it's natural. It comes in light, medium, dark and deep dark. And it is a kind of luminosity product. It has firming ingredients. So it's a lotion which sort of firms up the skin temporarily and it has lots of um, shimmer in it and very sort of light reflective and optical blurrers. So what it kind of does is it gives you that really sheeny, shiny skin, but it sort of detracts from any issues that you have. So if you have like, I often find it makes cellulite look a bit, you know, smoother because the light reflects differently off your skin. And um, it just kind of beautifies and gives that real kind of expensive looking sheen to the skin, very sort of glossy and very glamorous look to the skin. Um, you can use it on arms and legs, you know, other parts of the body as well. But I always use it on legs, I think it looks incredible. It looks very good in photographs as well. So it kind of cheats, cheats the light and cheats everything. Um, if you want to make... Um, a kind of cheaper version of that, you could use any firming body lotion. So obviously you can buy Nivea and all these different brands in the drugstore and then mix it with a highlighter. So you could mix it with a powdered highlighter or a um, lotion type one. I'd suggest that you mix it fresh when you use it. So squirt out some of the lotion and add either some shimmer, powder shimmer and mix it 
or add some lotion, shimmer and mix it and then apply to the skin. So that again will give you that optical illusion type thing and also shine. Um, but this one is particularly good because it comes in different colours as well. So it also gives colour. So that's my favourite for that. So the next product is more for very, very dry skin. I'm talking like really severely dehydrated and flaky legs. And this is the Skin Deep Dry Leg Oil from This Works. Again, it's This Works, but I really believe in this product. It has um, lots and loads of celebrities that I know swear by it as well. It has nine different essential oils, evening primrose oil, no parabens, no synthetic fragrance, no nothing. It doesn't have any colour and it doesn't have any shimmer like the last thing I mentioned so it's more for just deep 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 hydration so if you've got super super dry flaky legs and you want them to look glossy and glamorous and summery and gorgeous then really massage this in and they leave a it leave a lovely kind of glam shine on your legs um, but as I say it won't affect the color and it doesn't add any um, shimmer or anything so on to more coverage and to start with I'm going to mention the MAC Face and Body, I know I always talk about this, but this is what I like to use for evening out the skin, the colour on the skin. So if you are someone that needs, you know, very blotchy or you've got purple knees or, you know, and it just gives that totally one colour, even colour. When you first put it on, it goes all strange and um, I always find it's better when you don't put it on top of oil and you don't put it on top of rich rich moisturizer so if you need moisturization do that way before you use this and let it really sink in and then use this product and you really have to blend it in you have to blend and blend and blend and blend and you kind of feel like it's not going to blend and then it does all blend and then it sets and it's nice because it sets and it doesn't rub off on everything and it just gives that very, very even skin tone. It is, uh, it comes in 13 shades as well, so that's really good. Now, if you need more coverage, so if you have stretch marks that are very red or purple or thread veins, varicose veins, tattoos, bad bits of pigmentation which are very strong or you have things like vitiligo or you have bad insect bites which have left scars then I'm going to mention three camouflaging products that I like to use on legs as well. These camouflaging products can be used on top of anything that I've mentioned already. Um, so the first one is the Vichy Derma Blend Foundation. The second one, and this comes in five shades, is the um, Estee Lauder, and this is Maximum Coverage Foundation. These are quite similar, to be honest, but this one comes in six shades, this one comes in five shades. The other one is the Camouflage Cream by Ker Keramask. I've only got the white one, unfortunately. This is the mixer. Um, I can't find the other ones, but it comes in 25 shades, that one. And what's really good about Keramask is not only does it come in 25 shades, but three of those shades are mixers. So there's a yellow mixer, a dark mixer, and a white mixer. And also they also do a tattoo base. So if you have a really red tattoo, they do one in green that you can use first. You could also use that on very red spider veins and things underneath before you put the coverage on top. The secret to these three is blending well and finding the right color. So whichever one you went for. And I always use something like this underneath or even use a bit of foundation on your legs first because it just means that when you then blend something like this on top, you have something to blend those edges into. And it's really a case of not just covering the, the thing that it is you want to cover or the area. And you can either cover something very small using a little brush or just patting it in and then blend those edges. Or if you have a large area that needs coverage, obviously you could use a foundation brush or a kind of more of a buffing brush or just hands and just blend the product in. But again, just keep blending those edges so it kind of blends in really, really well. And then if you want to use a setting powder on top, if you've used a lot of camouflage, then something like a waterproof setting powder from Dermablend is very good. Or you could just use, if you've only got regular setting powder, that's fine. Just dust over, blend over, and make sure you sort of buff it all off. But it is really about blending when you're doing camouflaging on, on the legs. So I can thoroughly recommend all of these products, having tried, tested, used, I'm still using them so many times on myself, on clients, over and over and over again. So I can thoroughly and wholeheartedly recommend that these products will make do make your legs look so much better. 
And in terms of what you choose to do with your legs, I mean, it really is, everyone's different. Everyone's issues are very, very different. For me, for example, I'm using the Perfect Skin Miracle to give some color and a bit of, just to make them look better. But I'm also using the Vichy Derma Blend on some bites that I have around my ankles, which I actually got at Easter, so months ago, but they've left little marks. So I'm using that combination and that's working for me. And obviously everyone is different. So it's time to get your legs out, do it with confidence and have fun.